Hey baby girls, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? I hope everyone is doing super super well today. So today we're going to be working with another Halloween design. So then let's begin with the products we're going to be using. For today's video, we are going to be using my 3XL square tips. We are also going to be using Hollow's Eve. This one is from my Halloween collection. Right now, I think it's currently still in stock, you guys. Um, and then we're also going to be using Xenon. This is from our 90s collection. This one is in the website as well. Um, and for the acrylics, we're also going to be using Edward Scissorhands. This is also from the Halloween collection. This is an oldie but goodie. But of course, it had to be with the new Halloween collection. And last but not least, we will be using Blossom Pink. I forgot to show you here, which I always forget to mention something, but for example, this is my, um, my clear, my crystal clear acrylic, but I forgot to show you the brush that we were going to be using, which is my number 14 Kalinsky brush. So today, you guys, as you guys watch the process of it all, which, yeah, you guys are going to be seeing everything. I really want to talk to you guys. I'm sorry. I really want to talk to you guys about the black eyed children. I don't know if you guys have heard ever of the black eyed children. Um, really, nobody really knows who they are or what they are. Um, their eyes are just literally midnight black. Everything is black, you guys. And again, nobody knows who they are or what they are. There's been many encounters um, with them. So today I'm going to reach you guys one of the encounters, okay? So I got this one online. <laughs> so yeah, this is called, let me see, The Midnight Color. So I'm going it, it's to, a, it's a story, okay, you guys? So I'm going to be reading through it. Okay, let's begin. It almost felt like a dream. I woke up to my dog, Lucy, barking. She was upright on the bed where my husband and I were sleeping with our 22-month-old daughter, staring at her door like an unknown stranger was out there rummaging around. I thought she was just freaking out over a house noise. We'd only had her for three months, and she was only a puppy. It could have been anything, a roommate, a crack from the house settling, the awnings moving outside in the breeze. I wasn't too concerned initially. I decided that the best would be to open the door and show her nothing was there. It sounds a bit silly, but it's what we do with our daughter when she gets scared. And I figured it should work with a puppy too. I opened the door and she raced to the front door. She stood there, snarling at the door. It was an angry, violent growl. One I had never heard her make before. I looked groggily at her and opened the baby gate, blocking the doorway, planning to open the door and show her everything was okay. The second my hand reached for the deadbolt, Lucy went wild. She started barking and jumping towards me, and when I touched the metal, she suddenly changed her temper. She whimpered, almost like she was afraid and backing down. As she mannerism changed, so did mine. I wasn't calm anymore. My heart was racing and, sneak and sinking at the same time. I had been flooded with a mixture of fear and dread. I looked down at the people. I can't explain why I looked, but I did. Outside were two kids. One was just a smidgen shorter than the other one and didn't look much younger. I'm 21 and she looked to be 16 or 17. She was slender and pale. Her hair was light. A her hair was a light shade of honey blonde and she wore it long about mid back with long thin but blank blunt bangs in the front that covered most of her eyes she wore jeans a light wash that's popular right now and a thin looking olive colored pullover style hoodie she held the hand of a small girl who looked to be around three or four in the same style of jeans and button down ivory cardigan the smaller one looked at the floor shyly, but had the same shade of hair tied back in a ponytail. She held a stuffed toy under her free arm, and it was identical to the one my daughter has as, her, as was their style of dress. 
Had it not been for the feeling of overwhelming dread or, and fear, I probably would have asked these children in and given them some tea or hot chocolate to get them out of a bitter cold. Something about them seemed off. At this point, I hadn't made any noise. I hadn't shushed the dog or grumbled nothing. I hadn't turned on any lights. These kids had no indicators I was at the door. The older one spoke. She had a voice that was mature, confident, strong, and accentless. She held her head tilted downwards, and I couldn't see her eyes. She said, we have to use your phone. I stood frozen in fear. How did she know I was there? She raised her head to face me directly, and that's when I saw her eyes. There was a reason she couldn't see them. Through her banks before they were black, or midnight blue, or dark, dark purple. They were otherworldly, she said. Our mother is worried. As someone who has always been interested in creepy stories, I knew what she was the second she looked at me through the door. I have never been one to believe in these things as a staunch atheist and skeptic when it comes to the paranormal. I had written off many ghost stories from friends and family members eager to tell their tale. I didn't believe it. Still, I couldn't rationalize my way out of this. I was standing with nothing but a thin wooden door between me and a black-eyed kid. There was no questioning that was right in front of me. I did not answer her. Slowly and silently, I backed away from the door. Lucy, still cowering at my ankles, she kept talking. Just let us in to use your phone. I, I took another step and back. And with that step, the tone changed. At first, she seemed polite. When I took that second step back, she became commanding, almost hostile. We're not going to hurt you. If we wanted to, we would have broken in. I'll ask again. May we come in and use your phone? Lucy snarled at the door, and I inched backward. Through something inside me seemed to be slowly pulling me back towards the door. It wasn't a physical pulling so much as a subconscious need to go back and let them in. I go to my room, covered up the window, locked the door, and sat there in the dim light of the nightlight. I heard her call me back to the door once more, and then quiet, I didn't go back to sleep that night. And I haven't slept since. I know from reading about them that BEKs can't just come in without permission. I know they haven't hurt anyone, but I still fear I'll be an exception. When I told my husband, he said it was just a dream. He kept telling me to forget it. But this lingering feeling of sadness, this dread when the house is silent at night, this fear of a knock at the door tells me otherwise. So that is the first story, you guys, and that is seriously super creepy because i've been home alone and i said as i've mentioned to you guys before my husband was um he's a truck he still truck drives but not as much you guys but when he used to truck drive a lot me and my son were always home alone you guys it was just me and him in this house and honestly you guys at night i wouldn't i wouldn't really um, I wouldn't think much of things like that, you know what I mean? Because I didn't want to get um, stuff like that in my head at night, especially at night. So I wouldn't think of it. But now that I look back, I'm like, whoa, that was crazy. It was just me and my son all alone in the house. You know, thank God, gracias a Dios, nothing ever happened. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. Um, so let me see. Okay, guys, so let me read to you guys another one. I don't know if I'm going to be reading more, but here's another one, and it looks interesting. So it's called The Bus Encounter. I was riding the bus back home from work. It was about 1 a.m. I'm a security guard and often work odd hours. So I'm sitting there, and this guy gets on, sits across from me. He was wearing a suit, had a briefcase, a regular-looking guy in his 20s. What struck me about him at first was that he was chewing a cigar, not smoking it. You can't smoke on the bus, so I was just looking at him while he stared out the window and chewing his cigar. 
All of a sudden, he turned and looked at me. His eyes were pitch black, just as you described. My heart beating, I'm sorry, <laughs> my heart started beating like a mad, you know what I mean, MF. And I felt my gorge rising. I was starting to panic and I had no idea why. I was just pants shittingly terrified of this guy. Then he grinned at me and his teeth were all covered in tobacco bits and brown juice. The cigar clamped between them. I almost screamed, but instead I had a presence of mind to just get up and take a seat right behind the driver. I calmed down a bit after that, but I kept an eye on the guy. He ended up chatting with some girl that got on and they were still talking when I got off. I later convinced myself he was just trolling me, having fun with a pair of contacts. Now I wonder that one is weird you guys because it's i mean the guy's eyes were pitch black so you know that's that's just freaking crazy to me it's really crazy um so we this one's a freaking long one you guys i don't know if i should read another one or yeah let's read another short one okay let's make it three okay so this one's called you must let me in on March 17, 2008, I had my one and only encounter with a black-eyed kid. Before my experience, I had never heard of anything having to do with the black-eyed kids. I was 12. I was sitting outside of a hairdresser in an old Chevy pickup waiting for my mom to get a haircut. About 15 minutes had passed and saw some kid walking back and forth along the sidewalk in front of my parked car. At first, I thought I recognized him as one of my friends from school so i banged on the front windshield until he looked my way it was not anyone i knew at this point i was not scared at all not yet the boy walked over uh, to the other side of the car and just stares i think to let me get a good look at his eyes to freak me out let me tell you if you have never seen a black eyed kid you have no idea what to imagine Pupils as the night sky. The boy whispers, you must let me in. And then I locked the car doors and ducked down into the space below the seat. Five minutes later, he was gone. When my mother got in the car, she told me a boy with black eyes had came into the hairdresser, had insisted for my mother to give him the keys to the car. She refused. Thank God she did. You guys, I know this is like so freaking scary. It's literally freaking like eight in the morning right now when I'm doing this voiceover and I'm freaking scared. <laughs> I'm I'm scared. And um um back in the day, well not back in the day, but a couple of years ago, um before I think I even started my YouTube channel, uh I would watch Shane Dawson a lot, you guys. Like I loved his channel. I would watch him. I watched literally all of his videos and I remember him making a video about black eyed kids and that's when it started just you know it just interested me a lot I just want to learn more about them because they're just super creepy like they're super scary I, I don't even know what they are again nobody really knows much about them but there's been several encounters and to me that's a really 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 scary i know you guys i don't even know what i would do if something like that would ever happen to me thank god i've never been in any type of situation like that i've never had any like paranormal things happen to me um thank god the closest one to me would have to be i think i told this story a couple of years back on one of my halloween videos as well is when my me and my husband heard our back door like at it was like three in the morning you guys we we're still up because we would um watch movies or he would be on his phone he was actually reading um the book of enoch i think <laughs> i don't know if i don't know you guys but yeah he was reading that book and for some reason we heard someone knocking on our back door I don't know you guys that's crazy we went we went my husband went to go check and all and nobody was there um we actually have like cameras around the house and stuff and 
nobody was there nobody was there we checked them you know nothing was around the dogs were all locked up it was it was crazy you guys like it was freaking crazy but um yeah now i'm gonna read to you guys 10 facts about the black eyed kids okay the black eyed kids look like normal human children between the ages of 6 and 16 with a pale skin and completely black eyes number two Additionally, people who have been in close proximity to black-eyed kids report feeling of unease that washed over them. While nothing about the children's appearance aside from the eyes frightened the people. And they reported feeling anxious to terror at their presence. Some people have also reported seeing black-eyed kids that have talents for feed or other demonic attributes to most sightings are of seemingly normal children. Black-eyed kids are also commonly described as wearing dated clothing or dressing in a manner that is not typical for a normal child at their age. Black-eyed children always ask for something. It is always something that involves being in close quarters with you. They will ask you for a ride in your vehicle or to enter your house to use their phone. There are no reports, stories of what happens when you let black-eyed kids into your vehicle or home. All stories come from people whose eerie feelings made them flee from the children. The earliest sighting from a black-eyed kid was a journalist, Brian Bethel, in 1986. Nine, I'm sorry, 1996. That's the earliest. The story has been added to internet creepypasta lore. But to this day, Bethel insists the incident was the real that happened the way he reported. In 2014, a British paper reported that sightings of black-eyed kids around the world are rising. Oh my god, you guys, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Theories about the black-eyed kids are that they are vampires, aliens, or of demonic origin. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm freaking scared. No me digan, no me digan. Yeah, you guys. Those are literally like the... Like the 10 facts about them. And again, I'm freaking scared. I'm really scared of those. I don't want nobody knocking on my door at freaking 3 a.m. again. What if it was one of them? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah, because that day um, we had been... It was like during the summer. It was during the summer. And... My husband and I would, like, watch, like, something on Netflix. And then we would, like, um, just, you know, turn off the TV and stuff. And I would be on my phone and he would be on his phone. And he was, like I said, he was reading the book of Enoch. And um, I remember I was, like, I'm, like, you know what? I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm super tired. Um, I went to go charge my phone. And then I came back to the bed to go to sleep. So when I come back to the bed, it was literally like five minutes, you guys. I was I was about to go to sleep. Like literally, you know that feeling when you're literally about to like literally fall asleep to knock out? That was a feeling I was already starting to feel. And then all of a sudden we hear three knocks, you guys. Literally three knocks. Our bedroom is close, literally super close to the back door, you guys. So um we hear three knocks. And then my husband's like, did you hear that? And I woke up like super fast, you guys, because I'm a light sleeper. I'm like, literally, I could be knocked out and I could seriously hear everything. I could hear my husband if he wakes up. I could hear, you know, if my son will come into the room or something to grab something or you know what I mean? I could hear everything. So I heard the three knocks clearly, like clearly. And then I was like, I woke up like I, I literally woke up and I'm like, no, that was not me. He's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, I'm sure. Like, that was not me. I was already falling asleep. So he's like, oh, my God, that's crazy. So he gets up the bed and then he goes to check and nothing, you guys, like nothing, nothing. I swear to you guys, nothing. And we have like, we have a lot of dogs, you guys, and none of the dogs barked nothing. It was crazy. And we have Chapito. We have our little dog um, here inside with us and um he's you know how chihuahuas he's mixed you guys but he has chihuahua blood and um he you know they're very like they how can i say this 
bien exagerados like they'll hear a little noise and they'll like bark like crazy you know what i mean he didn't make a sound you guys he did not make a sound um outside we checked the freaking cameras and there was nothing that was crazy that's like the most craziest thing that's ever happened to me to me and what i've heard i haven't seen i've heard so and um yeah it's it's so crazy it's 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 literally unexplainable and i tell my husband it it's maybe that they're trying to stop you from reading you know the bible or the book of enoch or whatever it is that you're reading something's probably trying to make you stop you know what i mean i don't know that's that's just my thoughts and it's crazy it's freaking crazy and scary it's really scary you guys i know i'm a chicken you guys i am and i tell my husband like the older i get like no sé like i'm i'm scared of everything now uh, i am and back then i wasn't even scared of any, of nothing you guys of nothing you know in my teenage era <laughs> crazy era um you know we would get home me and my sister would get home late and no like we would get off the car and stuff and we never thought of anything paranormal like coming or crossing our paths you know what i mean thank god i think god gracias a dios that nothing ever happened to us like that because i don't know what i don't know you guys <laughs> that's crazy but yeah i don't know has anything ever happened to you guys because i don't know i really don't know if i would ever come across like a black-eyed kid or if they would come and knock on my door i don't know what i would do the craziest part is that they kind of like lure you to opening the door you know what i mean it, you you kind of have to be like very strong-minded to be like no go back to sleep or go back to bed go back to the room don't go to the freaking door or you know what i mean i don't know it's it's crazy but yeah baby girls um now we're gonna move on to filing you guys saw the whole you know the whole freaking um acrylic application and i was having so much fun with this design actually um, because of the acrylic application I loved it and it was kind of perfect because I didn't have to do much filing um, there's literally not much filing in this video like for real so I'm gonna go ahead and just file everything um, I kind of left uh, yeah I, I left everything for you guys to see and I'm gonna leave you guys to it for a little bit and then I'll be back
okay baby girl so now we're gonna be doing oogie boogie and we did it in purple so i'm gonna be honest i wasn't sure what i was gonna be doing with this design for some reason my like my creative juices haven't been flowing very well with these halloween designs i don't know what's happening to me <laughs> it's like it's frozen and i don't know you guys i don't know I'm, I'm i'm literally not feeling it i'm not feeling it. i'm sorry you guys i'm so sorry i'm being very honest with you guys right now um but for some reason i don't know you guys i'm not feeling those um creative juices are running through my mind while i'm doing halloween designs i don't know what it is but i'm trying my best and uh, at first i want i was gonna be doing like 3d little ghosts because i did a reel over there on instagram and um it had like little ghosts exactly like with the ombre that i did here but with ghosts and if you guys haven't seen it go watch it it's cute <laughs> but um yeah i was gonna do that and then i'm like girl no like you need something different so um but they were gonna be in 3d guys they were i was not gonna draw them like freehand them or anything i was gonna 3d them like with um 3d i'm sorry with um white acrylic and um i'm like you know what no i'm not gonna do that i think i'm just gonna do oogie boogie but we're gonna draw him a purple i don't know if that's a thing you guys i've seen him in orange i've seen him pink and i've seen him green but i don't think i've seen him purple i'm like okay well i've seen him pink i've seen him orange and green why not purple so i went ahead and drew him purple you guys and here we are i'm sorry i was literally like out of frame i zoomed in way too much and i didn't realize that i was that would cause me to be out of frame you know what i mean so i'm so sorry you guys i'm so so sorry but i tried my best i this was really hard lately like i said you guys for some reason i haven't been feeling halloween designs so i don't know if that's what's kind of like my problem with the nail art because i literally erased oogie boogie from my nail like five times i'm not kidding and i was on the bridge of just calling it quits this time again just like i did with sally but i'm like no girl like what are you doing like no you, you gotta keep going like nothing's gonna sto stop you just keep going so i did what i did and i kept on going you guys even though again this was super hard i really don't know how these girls draw like i'm trying my best you guys and it's super freaking hard it's really hard so I'm mainly using my liner brushes, but I'm mainly using my number 15 liner brush. Um, so these are available on the website. Don't forget to check out shopbombnails.com, you guys, because we do have several new things happening over there. We have new nudes. We have our fall collection. We have our Halloween collection. I think I literally have a few left. I might have like two or three collections left. So if you guys are looking for a nice, beautiful Halloween collection, go check that one out, you guys. You're going to love it. So, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with Oogie Boogie. Um, I went ahead and kind of traced in, like, a little bit of white inside, um, like, here, his little eyes. So they kind of look like, of course, his little eyes. Um, but, yeah, I went through Pinterest looking for a picture of him and it was really hard you guys it was super hard but i tried my best and here we are you guys so um we're also gonna be applying a matte top coat here on the ombre nail or the aura nails i'm sorry i think i should have done these shiny you guys because i wasn't i don't know you guys i felt like making these mattes it wasn't like the aura wasn't really showing if that makes sense you know what i mean but yeah, I think I should have done them shiny. Either way, I guess it came out cute. So I went ahead and matted these babies out. And then I went ahead and cured under the lamp for about 60 seconds. Um, I like to do my nail art white. I'm saying <laughs> white. I'm sorry. Matte. I like to do my nail art matte, you guys. Because I feel like it kind of stands out more when you do it matte instead of shiny. But you can do either way. It all depends on what you like. 
So now we're going to be doing um, a little um, spider web here using my white. The black and the white are from my website. And the purple, it's just a color that I had from Amazon, a gel that I had from Amazon. So I used that one. And then we're going to be doing the little um, spider web. And then we're going to sprinkle that with a little bit of glitters to make the sugar effect. And we're also going to be doing a little spider on the ring finger, which was giving peso pluma. Yes, you guys. When I was like complete with, or when I was done with the design, uh, I saw it. I'm like, this looks like Peso Pluma's album. I swear, the new one. Oh, I know. Yeah, but I was a little stressed. I was a little stressed, but it ended up working out. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I'm going to finish up with this. Again, we're going to be doing like the little spider in the ring finger. And we're going to sugar um quarter as well and that'll be it i'll be back in a little bit
and this is the final result i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys liked it thank you so much for being here and hearing me out today we had a nice black eyed kids story well we had three so thank you thank you thank you thank you guys for being here today i will see you here on the next one stay safe god bless and stay away from the black eyed kids bye bye <laughs>